What's happening my beautiful people my name is Mike and today my friends we're gonna discuss finishing Welcome to the ultimate FIFA guide and if you're brand new to the channel It is free to subscribe in this video I'm not gonna focus on long shooting and I'd like to make a dedicated video for finesse shots and placement from outside of the box If you want to see that content drop a thumbs up if we get 2,000 likes I'll bring it out ASAP 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 if you have any questions regarding finishing, comments down below. Or if you have any questions regarding FIFA 18 in general, comments. Remember the content I'm producing right now is off the game, not the demo. This is all from an early capture event with EA Sports. Let's get started with the driven finish. It's been one of the most frequently asked questions I've received on my social media regarding finishing. Does it still work like FIFA 17? Is it still efficient? Is it effective? Remember it was introduced last year and the answer is yes. It's still very good, but it does need to be used at the correct circumstance if you want to maximize your finishing efficiency. And as you see, I have the outside the penalty box rule. And I'm talking about with here. If you're outside that penalty box, it's a good place to use the driven finish. Make sure if you're using it on a player's weak foot that he has at least a four star weak foot. Otherwise it starts to get very unpredictable and you're gonna start losing out in those types of circumstances. You might have a better option available. And if you're striving to be an elite player, if you're striving to be a top 100 player or a regionals player, you need to be able to take these chances over and over again. As you see another freeze frame, peace check. He's outside of the area, which means we're going with the driven finish. And I would say you're looking for about two to three bars of power. And if you're not familiar with the driven finish or the driven shot, I'm going to leave a link to my video from last year. And I also may drop a video this year just depending if I think it's going to help people out or not. I try not to assume that people watching my content know everything about the game. This could be their first FIFA. Uh, but at the same time, I don't want to make I, I don't want to upload the same videos over and over again. I definitely want to show progression and I want to show you guys a different look at new gameplay that's been introduced. And then also the most effective ways to go about scoring goals, playing defense, trapping your opponent. Aguero, boy is he back. He was lightning quick from um, playing the game. And just to reiterate from earlier, this is the actual title. This is not the demo. And all these games are being played against fellow YouTubers or uh, live streamers or even professional players that were at the event. EA had a major capture event. And now with the standard across the body, not a lot is different, just shot selection. Now we have the inside the box rule. Remember I told you, penalty box, we wanna go outside if you wanna use the driven shot. Now if you're inside, you see we're a couple feet inside here with Clivert, then we're going to go with the standard across the body power shot. Uh, you're looking at about two bars of power from my experience, it seems to work well. And the goalkeepers aren't great. I actually think when the title comes out, that EA is either going to have a very early patch or they're going to go in and make the goalkeepers a little bit better. They do fall down a little bit too easy in my opinion and it makes it where the attacking players just always have the advantage. I like them to win a lot of 50-50s or to be able to, to put the ball into the back of the net but it's happening at too high uh, of a level of frequency in my opinion to see Terry Henry. I don't know about the celebration but we're on the board again and it's gonna be more of the same. And you're gonna see the exact same scenarios in terms of lining it up, in terms of setting up these opportunities. It, it's gotta be that inside the box and you're gonna be in a great position for finishing. You're gonna give yourself a chance to score goals and, and make sure that you are maximizing your potential when you're in these half chances or even these 1v1 situations. You've got to take advantage. You have to take advantage. Being clinical goes a long way uh, in FIFA as you see our first example of keeping it tidy and I find myself in this position quite often and you just want to tap it home and if you're pretty good with the finesse shot I would prefer to tap this home while holding the finesse finesse shot modifier that works best for me the keepers coming out and you've got to just slide it under him uh, and this was relevant to last year's installment as well whether you're going across the body or trying to hit it on the near post, all good. If the keeper's really rushing you, you can choose. Either side works, but you just want to barely tap it. Not more than one bar of power, or just, just a tad bit over that, actually, if, if it has to be. But for the most part, you're aiming for one bar. Whereas all the other finishing techniques you've seen thus far, we're looking at two bars to three bars. Uh, you want to generate a lot more power. You're going to have to challenge the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper in these uh, examples is actually challenging you. As you see the through ball, 
I get enough time to hit the finesse shot. Keeper's coming out. I can't power this up. I will miss the chance. If I power it up, the keeper gets to it. If I go for a driven finish, once again, the keeper gets to it. Uh, because you don't have enough of an angle to keep the ball away from them. So you just gotta tap it very quickly. I, I, like I said, use the finesse shot modifier. Uh, if you have a chance, it just seems to slide under the keeper or around them. Just a tad bit easier uh, from my experience with the game. And the last freeze frames and the last clips that I wanna go over, uh, I call it the finesse V1. And this is gonna be your standard finesse shot when you start to break through the defensive back line as we're taking space here with Neymar. Uh, and when I'm gonna show you this freeze frame, this is where I should be shooting from. Now I was kind of fancy. Uh, I wanted to add some more flair into my gameplay, but I should have shot early. Instead, I throw out a ball roll into a Ronaldo chop, and I finish it. Still going to the exact same angle that I started with, but I did want to show you guys where you should be shooting from in order to score goals. And it's another area where you can get away with one and a half, all the way up to two and a half bars of power from my experience. And the reason you don't want to go across the body in this freeze frame with Aguero is that you're risking that the defender is going to block it. And that's why I tell you guys to choose the finesse shot. Uh, your body's already been opened up. This is the quickest way uh, to get on board and to score goals. 